Good afternoon, people. Watch them in 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. This is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. Grace is something we didn't earn, and grace is something um, we don't deserve. Hold on a minute. Now it's Delilah's turn to act a fool. Um, it's grace that God gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Once you come to the end of yourself and admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior, there's only one, and put your faith and trust in Christ and what he did for you at the cross, at that point you're justified by the blood, the blood of Jesus. At that point, the Holy Spirit will come in and indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, and the Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you. Most of all, the Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation, period. Folks, I got so much news, it's not even funny. And it's coming in. First of all, satellite images experts suggest Iranian space launch is coming. Then I got this. Russia says it may be forced to deploy intermediate nuclear missiles in Europe. Let me give you a little bit of that. Moscow, this came in today, about two hours ago. It says that Russia said on Monday it may be forced to deploy intermediate-range mis nuclear missiles in Europe in response to what he sees as NATO's plan to do the same. Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei uh, Rapkov told Russia's RIA news agency in an interview that Moscow would have to take the step if NATO refused to engage with it on preventing such an escalation. Folks, this is, like I said, this is beyond serious. Uh, um, his comments further raise stakes in an east-west standoff in which Russia is demanding security guarantees from the West while the United States and its allies are warning Moscow to pull back from what they see as a possible invasion of Ukraine, uh, something uh, Sergei, again, denied was Russia's intent, of course. Intermediate-range nuclear forces in Europe were banned under a 1987 treaty agreed between Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev and U.S. President Ronald Reagan in what was hailed at the time as a major easing of Cold War tensions. Washington quit the pact in 2019 after complaining for years of alleged Russia violations. Um, Sergei said that there were indirect indications that NATO was moving closer to uh, redeploying INF, including its restoration of last month, including its restoration last month of the 56th Artillery Command, which operated nuclear-capable Persian missiles during the Cold War. Folks, this is serious. These people are not playing. Putin basically gave... Um, <laughs> he gave Biden the finger Friday, basically. And guess what he did? 10,000 more troops. After he got off the phone with Biden, it was reported that he moved 10,000 more troops to the Ukrainian border. So there you go. Then we got this right here. Um, sit down, please. Um, 
<laughs> this came out this morning. Hey. Blinken Anthony. Fake Blinken. Now, after the U.S. has said all this, this is what came out this morning, and this is off of NBC News. Blinken warns U.S. will respond to Russia aggression and take steps to refrain from in the past. So, the whole international system is at stake, Blinken said, amid fears of Russian invasion into Ukraine. So, Washington Secretary of State, Anthony, you got to be blinking me, said the U.S. is prepared to take greater steps to respond to Russia, Russian aggression after Sleepy Joe's phone call last week. And what that means is I don't know. What the president made very clear to Putin that I've been clear on foreign ministry, Sergei Lavrov, my counterpart, is that we are looking at and we are prepared to take the kind of steps we refrain from taking in the past that would have massive consequences for Russia. You know what? I really don't think Putin gives a crap about what they say. I really don't. After that, no. But this thing that... Um, Satellite images suggest Iran. <laughs> we're going from, it seems like we're going from nation to nation. <laughs> uh, ex expert says um, that Iranian space launch is coming. Now they got satellite imagery, and this is off a of news break. Iran appears to be preparing for a space launch as negotiations continue in Vienna over its tattered nuclear deal with world powers, according to an expert in satellite images. The likely blast-off at Iran's uh, Amen Kohami spaceport comes as Iranian state media has offered a list of upcoming planned satellite launches in the works for the Islamic Republic civilian space program, which has been beset by a series of failed launches. Iran's uh, Parliamentary Revolutionary Guard runs its own parallel program that successfully put a satellite into orbit last year. Conducting a launch amid the Vienna talks fits the hardline posture struck by Tehran's negotiators who already described six previous rounds of diplomacy as a draft. Exasperating Western nations. Germany's new foreign minister has gone as far as to warn that time is running out for us at this point. But all this fits into a renewed focus on space by Iran. Iran's hardline president, Ibrahim, I call him Raisin, is Riasi, said Jeffrey Lewis, an expert at the James Martin Center for Nonproliferation Studies at the Middlebury. Institute for International Studies, who studies Tehran's program, with Iran's former president, Hussein Rani, who shepherded this nuclear deal out of office, concerns about alienating the talks with launches that the U.S. asserts aids Tehran's ballistic missile program likely have faded. Iran state media did not acknowledge that the activity at the spaceport at the spaceport and Iran's mission to the United Nations did not respond to a request for comment. The U.S. military, which tracks space launches, did not respond to requests for comment. So, something is going on. Something extremely serious is going on with all of these nations right now. And it's coming fast. I'm going to link all these in the description box. Um, it's coming fast, whatever it is. Like I said, I this convergence is happening right before our eyes, and it's happening very, very rapidly. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.